quality of this year's winners was really impressive. Um, we had uh, a couple of situations where we ended up with joint winners in categories. We, we ended up having to have some special recognition in the Te Karanga o Te Tui category. Because the level was so high, it was hard for us just to choose one in, in those situations. So I think that speaks really largely, uh, loudly about the profession at the moment and the quality of work that we were seeing. And we, you know, we had this amazing opportunity to travel to these sites and experience them firsthand. So we're quite confident in the fact that you know we're not just judging off pictures or anything like that. We could see that work, we could walk around in it, we could see other people using it, and be really impressed with what we saw. Um, in that you know real struggle that we had to to just pull out a few winners from from our experiences on the site the profession uh, felt like it's in really good heart so we saw a lot of very positive things coming through again both in the submission documents and in the sites themselves about the quality of the design work the quality of the um, implementation of those projects as well in this you know really evident elevation of um, of the the Māori component of looking to a sort of a bicultural sense in all of these designs which has been something that's been evolving over the years and now it's you know really um, the the common denominator across probably nearly all of the projects New Zealand landscape architecture the, the thing that probably sets us apart is on one hand, our remoteness, you know, in the past has been a bit of a limitation. We've maybe seen ourselves as being a bit isolated from the rest of the world. But there's some things that make that a positive now in terms of just everyday living. If we think about things like COVID, you know, our isolation was a, a bit of a, a benefit in that sense. But it also means that we have some very special things here, um, including culturally, um, biophysically. So we have some very special flora and fauna and so on. So we have some things of great value that are in our, you know, our tiny country and that sets us apart uh, so that we, we have a really special environment that we're working within but also we have to be really careful that we don't become complacent or indifferent to the place that we are. We have to be, you know, we have to remember that stewardship, if we look back in the history of the NZILA and, and the charter and so on, you know, stewardship, this idea of, of kaitiaki, is really core to what we do to caring for the landscape so that that needs to stay at the forefront and we think of those challenges of of society at the moment of um, issues to do with carbon landscapes and so on to, to use Craig Pocock's term that we're, we're we're negotiating a whole lot of very complex things and although it is really fantastic to see the things that we've seen in the awards we have to keep all of these different balls in the air you know to to make sure that our landscapes are not just fantastic on the surface, but right through to the core.